What is going on guys, Ed Bandicoot 101 here and welcome to my overview of the SIT F3 case which is a small M80X chassis which I think you guys are going to enjoy. So guys, I thought after that amazing B-roll you would like to talk about the actual specifications of the case. So without further ado, let's hit it up. So this is a £25 case, so it's probably in the mid $30 range to purchase, which is incredibly cheap. The majority of the construction <coughs> is plastic. However, side panels are metal, not sure what metal, but they're certainly metal. The acrylic side window seems very high quality uh, and comes sealed over so it doesn't get scratched during shipping. You have four PCIe slot expansion at the back, so you can have up to two-way SLI graphics cards in here, assuming you don't mind them sandwiched together, and your M80X board supports two-way SLI. As this does only support M80X motherboards of that form factor, so it has to have quite small motherboards, so be wary of that one. The power supply mounting is standard, however, as you can see, it is not a particularly long case, uh, and the hard drive mounts would get in the way, assuming you wanted to put a larger power supply in there. However, by the looks of it, I'm not going to have any issues mounting my CX500M in here. Uh, so that should be a sort of power supply you're looking for. It'll be a 500 watt semi-modular job like that. Uh, the case actually comes with two fans pre-installed. They are 120mm, one in the front, one in the rear. They are purple LED ones, which go nicely with the purple stripe across the top and front of the case. And hopefully give it a nice uniform aesthetic. Although I haven't seen them powered on yet, but we'll find out soon. And these fans use both a Molex and a 3-pin header. So you can pick and choose what you want to power them off of. Personally, I'll be using a Molex with the front one, so I might be running a full RPM. I'll let you know how loud that is. But uh, the top one, I'll be running off a three-pin fan header on my motherboard. So that should be A-OK. -okay. Uh, with uh, any other stuff to mention, it has two hard drive slots, which can also support SSDs. So you can have either two hard drives or two SSDs, but not two hard drives and an SSD, unless you just have the SSD flopping around the back. Now, mentioning around the back... Uh, it does have very well positioned mounting holes for all of your cable routing as well as a cut out on the motherboard for mounting a CPU like a liquid cooler. So you could fit a single 120mm liquid cooler like a Corsair H55 in this case. I am quite tempted to do it, however it really isn't necessary if you don't want to. Uh, but if you, I wouldn't recommend doing you know, any crazy overclocking with this case. But if you've got a st stock i7 that uses a fair bit of power and you want to liquid cool it just to make sure, 120mm liquid cooler, probably not going to be a problem by the looks of this because clearance doesn't look too bad. Uh, on top of that, the I.O. on the top of the case actually covers a fair bit more stuff as well. You have two USB 2s, headphone microphone, power reset, USB 3 and uh, two SD card readers, one for micro SD and one for standard SD, as well as hardware activity lights and all that standard stuff. Uh, the reset switch would be really hard to press uh, without intentionally pressing it because you've really got to get your finger in the hole and I've got quite small fingers as well, so no pun intended but it's pretty damn tight. Uh, the power button's nice and central, really easy to press and easy to locate without looking for it. And the rear I.O. is pretty stock standard and looks pretty nice. Build quality wise, it feels way better than £24.99 or £25, which is what I paid for it. Uh, and I think the amount of value you get for this case, assuming you're going to be doing a build with an M80X motherboard, this is the sort of case you want to be looking at. I'm really proud of this case and I'm so happy that I've got one. Uh, I can't believe I've got it so cheap and I don't know why they're selling them so cheap because... I thought the manufacturing cost on some of those would be a little higher because in terms of build quality wise, it's really not that much worse than my, uh, than my Phantom 630 in the back there that was over, what, five times the price of it, even on sale. So, that's my review guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Air Bandicoot 101. Like my Facebook page, Air Bandicoot 101. And follow me on Instagram, Air Bandicoot 101. Links to all my good stuff will be down in the description below. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. With regards to this case as well, uh, if you want to see a build in it, I'm currently doing a build in it today, so I'll be filming that today, and if you want to see what it looks like, 
Go ahead and click the link in the description. Look at the build video because I'm building a, a case, a whole whole system called called the Hinky Punk for my girlfriend, which is going to be purple themed, and it's going to have a modded reference GTX 770 graphics card in it that's actually purple. So go and have a check it out. Go and check it out, and I'll see you guys very soon.